Life lesson number four from 2020 is for me personally, I feel unfulfilled when I'm not close to God. So I know that some of you guys may be rolling your eyes right now. And, you know, um, anytime religion comes up. And by the way, like, let me make this clear. I'm not religious, right? Like, I'm not religious, but I believe in God. To me, the two are, are very, very different. Um, and God can take many forms for you. For me, when I think of God, I don't think of a specific person. I'm not talking to a person. Um, but, you know, I... From a very, very early age, I built up a relationship with God. And I guess for me, having uh, probably one of the most traumatic, uh, sinister, f***ed up, demonic uh, upbringings that I, I could ever imagine, 99% um, of which I don't even talk about to close friends, um, I guess I had no choice because it was just a feeling of like, I have so little control in my life that you just surrender to something bigger. So I spent most of my early life up until probably the age of like 15 or 16, where I started quite clearly to become a bit of a smart ass and think that everything was, think that uh, the byproduct of my life, which of course, yes, the byproduct of your life is a lot of your own action, but a lot of it is God's grace. And by the way, if when I say God, if you just want to swap that out for the universe, right? We can just call it that if you want. Um, instead for me, when I think of God, I don't actually think of a specific person. So. Um, I guess you could even say uh, just whatever, a, a collective consciousness or a higher power, whatever you want, whatever makes you feel comfortable. The point is, I had a very good relationship with God up until probably the age of like 14 or 15 when I started reading a book a week. I read a book a week for four years as I was building my business. Uh, when I started really, you know, going out there and, you know, in the it, tangibly, you know, making moves and, you know, doing things and actions and, you know, thinking that all everything that was in my life was simply a byproduct of my own personal actions, which, as I said, you need to adopt that mentality, especially at the beginning. But at the end of the day, let's be honest, most of it is luck or grace or whatever you want to call it. For me, as I said, I think it's uh, a lot of it is God's grace. And, um, and especially in recent years, a lot of the time I, I kind of just have no relationship with God. I don't pray. Uh, the first half of the year I was praying pretty much most days, um, had a great relationship with God. Uh, and just, you know, when that happens, I feel very centered. I feel very centered. I feel very calm. Uh, and I feel the most fulfilled I ever feel. So I guess, as I said, for me, it was a, a good life lesson. I really, I think from the, uh, you know, from 2017 up until mid 2020. And if you guys watched last year's uh, life lessons, you know, I went through a very uh, turbulent mid summer of 2020, uh, where I was very, very heavily uh, depressed, suicidal, like very, very strongly considering it. Um, and that's once again, I guess it was just that feeling of surrender. Like, F I have no choice but to surrender and, and admit that there's something that I can't help myself right now. Because by the way, you know, for me, it was not like, you know, for me, it wasn't like those people who are depressed and they're like, you know, they're severely, severely overweight. Um, and if you don't want to tell me that doesn't contribute to depression, then, you know, and you should just love yourself, then, uh, probably this is in the channel for you. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, I wasn't one of those people who was at that time. I wasn't even, I was, I was, I, I literally just came from six months of like not even having a sip of alcohol. So I wasn't even drinking or drugs or, um, you know, I was severely overweight or I was like, I had no, um, uh, prospect of, 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 or a bright future. Like I had everything anyone could ever want for. And it still was, uh, I went through, you know, what some people call a dark night of the soul experience. So as I said, for me last summer, I kind of just had to submit and go, mm, I can't help myself here. Right. And that's kind of when I started to every single day, slowly start to rebuild, uh, uh, a relationship with God. And, you know, I carried that through for almost like a solid year. And it was so great. Like it was so fulfilling. And then just somewhere around the summer, <laughs> uh, you know, it just kind of went away, you know, because uh, as I said, I was just starting to party more and enjoy myself more and this and that. Uh, and with that can come, first of all, uh, you know, you're just not living as healthy. So it's hard to like sort of, uh, you know, you're f***ing, I guess for some people, you know, they can call them chakras. For some people, it's just literally brain fog, uh, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, you know, you're just like, you're not... Uh, you're not centered, right? And when you're not centered, it's really hard to kind of have that relationship with a higher power. So yeah, I kind of realized like for me, uh, I'm very just unfulfilled when I don't have a relationship with God. And I think uh, there's a way um, 
and I look forward to a future where if I am going through a you know one of those periods because I'm sure it'll happen in the future again where I'm enjoying myself I'm being a little bit more uh, hedonistic uh, you know there's a little bit more debauchery going on in my life can I have that and can I still keep a very good relationship to God and still feel very centered uh, and I know that's possible and i think that's just something i need to focus on the uh, next time i go uh, you know next time round where i said i'm just living a little bit more uh hedonistic than, than you know the other 70 percent of the year so um so yeah that's uh i guess life lesson number four is uh uh for me uh i said i feel um very off-centered and very unfulfilled when i don't have uh, a relationship with um with god as i said in your case you can refer to it as a higher power or uh, the universe or, or whatever it is that you want.